Hey, what's up, nerds? Paul Conti bringing you another fresh and fruity battle report. Uh, I played a really good la game last night with my corn army versus the Caradron Overlords at 2,000 points. Uh, so, my list running the Gore Pilgrims with a Blood Secrator, two Slaughter Priests, uh, Two units of 10 Blood Warriors and 20 Blood Reavers. Uh, the Blood Secrator ha is my general and has Berserker Lord, which is the 5-up ward save. The Slaughter Priests both have Killing Frenzy, which is the plus 1 to hit um, prayer. Uh, a unit of 5 Wrathmongers. The Brass Stampede Battalion uh, with the Lord of Corn on Juggernaut and 3 units of Skull Crushers. Uh, the Lord on Juggernaut has the Blade of Endless Bloodshed, which gives me a tithe point for every turn that he kills an enemy model, in addition to any other tithe points that are generated. Uh, also have an Aspiring Deathbringer with Mark of the Destroyer, and a Skull Grinder with Mark of the Destroyer. Um, so, really not a super hard list, uh... My opponent's list, not super hard either. Um, just kind of, at the moment, feeling things out, getting to know the army, and uh, seeing how some things work. Um, my opponent's list uh, is running the Barrack Mornar Skyport. His additional footnote is these are just guidelines, uh, which I believe lets him re-roll his footnote. Um... He is running an Arcanaut Admiral with Opportunistic Privateers, three Ether Chemists, one with an Ether Shock Earbuster, a 20 Arcanaut Company with six Light Skyhooks, uh, two units of 10 Arcanaut Company with three Light Skyhooks, uh, 20 ground, sh ground Stock Thunderers, 20 Ground Stock Mortars, and a unit of nine Endrin Riggers with three uh, Grapnel Launchers. Um, and then an Arcanaut Frigate uh, with a Heavy Sky Cannon. Uh, and the Great Endrin Works are the last word. So, setting up the game, um, the scenario we rolled was Border War. Um, uh my opponent won the deployment initiative. I managed to outdrop him by one unit, uh, and I choose to go first. So this is what deployment looks like. I put uh, on in my left corner uh, one of my units of Blood Warriors, um, and then across the line in the front, I've got a unit of Juggernauts, my Lord on a Juggernaut, Skull Grinder, and a unit of Wrathmongers. Uh, across from that on the other side, you can see one of his units of Arcanaut Company and his Sky Ship uh, hiding behind a building over there. Uh, his army's not fully assembled and painted yet. There's a couple of things that are proxies or are going to be alternate models. Um, so forgive me for that. My army, however, fully painted and based, uh, which I, that's become like a requirement for me to have the fully ba painted and based army. In the center of the battlefield, uh, I hid my blood secretor and slaughter priests behind a building that was conveniently placed, um, in the center of the board. My, uh, blood reavers are in back of them. Uh, in retrospect, I really think I should have kind of created a pillow for the Blood Secretor and Slaughter Priests with those Blood Reavers to prevent the thing that you're going to see happens on turn one. Um, on my right flank, I've got two units of Juggernauts, another unit of Blood Warriors in the corner, and hiding just behind that building is my Aspiring Deathbringer. Uh, so, turn one, I drop my banner, uh, not much else really happens there, left flank, 
everybody runs up. One of my units of juggernauts I managed to get into cover, uh, which was pretty useful. Um, I really didn't want all of my stuff to get shot off the board turn one, uh, and that helped give some extra resilience for that. Right flank, same deal. Moved all the juggernauts up, moved all of the infantry up, um, and that was really it for this turn. Said a prayer and uh, hope the dice gods were in my favor for all the shooting that was about to descend upon me. Uh, so, hero phase, turn one, uh, my opponent drops all of his Endrin riggers out of the skyship. Um, that's about to be super bad. Uh, I believe he re-rolled his uh, article. I forget which article he ended up with. Uh, he makes all of his dudes immune to battle shock with his general um, movement. He steps most of his guys back, except for the Endrin riggers, which aggressively move up the board. Um, then we get to the shoot phase. One of my juggernauts in the unit in cover goes down two wounds on another one of the models over there side of the board lose four juggernauts and get a wound on uh one of my blood warriors from a massive amount of shooting that happens along the the whole board um going to uh well i would say the charge phase but we're not quite there yet so he uses the endrin riggers to uh grapnel launch over to one of the pieces of terrain and gonna get into my backfield um all of those endron riggers that you see sort of off to the side uh his models aren't completed being painted and assembled yet so those were just ones that were not really sitting on the stands very well so we just put the uh bases down and the guys off to the side um just so that we knew uh, what was where and had some idea of what was going on um, without these guys fa constantly falling over. Um, they charge in, they got a pretty good charge distance, and they fly, so they surrounded my Slaughter Priests and Blood Secrator. Uh, both Slaughter Priests, I know this is a horribly blurry picture and I apologize, both of the Slaughter Priests survive. They are hanging on by one wound each, um, I did not lose any of my Blood Reavers, however, I did, despite the, uh, uh, buffs on my Blood Secrator, uh, he did not survive turn one. So, uh, end of turn one, I managed to score five points, uh, from moving up the field aggressively, um, my opponent scored one point for the objective hit on his side of the board, I... Walked away with one blood tithe point for that downed blood secretor. And then I lose initiative for turn two. So this is where the game goes from, hey, maybe you know, the, this is not going to be so bad after all, to holy crap, I'm going to lose. Um, so uh, my opponent uses his once per turn ability, I'm sorry, once per game ability to... Have a unit pile in an attack, uh, kills a bunch of my Blood Reavers, um, and my Slaughter Priests. That gave me enough Blood Tithe points to then activate Murder Lust and charge that unit of Skull Crushers into the Endrin Riggers. Unfortunately, the shooting phase has not yet happened, and I... I failed my roll to do mortal wounds on the charge, so nothing happened there. Shooting phase, those guys get shot off the board and end up doing absolutely nothing of value. Over on the left flank, my heroes take some damage from shooting. Over on the right flank, the last of the juggernauts are gone and half of the blood warrior unit also gone. So my, and my aspiring deathbringer gone. So, a lot of shooting happened, a lot of stuff died. Um, yeah. Charge phase, some of his 
uh, Arcanaut Company decide to try and charge into my skull grinder. Um, the uh, Lord on Juggernaut also in three inches to pile in. As you can see, that did not go especially well for those Arcanaut Company. They were just wiped off the table, I believe, before they did any damage at all to anything. Um, over here, not so lucky with my uh, Blood Reavers. A whole bunch of them got taken down. I don't think I took down any of his dudes in the process. Maybe, like, one. Uh, so, that was kind of bad. So, bottom of turn two. Um, all the rest of the Reavers got wiped out due to Battle Shock. Um, so, this picture. What the hell happened with this picture? So, I don't have a hero phase anymore. I don't have a shooting phase. So, what happened? Um, I charged my Wrathmongers into his Endrin Riggers. Uh, my Wrathmongers go first, take out a bunch of his guys... He swings back at them uh, with the Endrin Riggers, kill all of my guys, activating five triggers on the Wrathmongers. Five of his Endrin Riggers end up attacking themselves, and all but one of them dies. And then later in the turn, the last one goes bye-bye due to Battle Shock. On the left flank, I move up my Blood Warriors, and I charge uh his arcanaut company with my skull grinder and my lord on a juggernaut they do some decent work on the uh endron riggers over there he also ended up getting in with his sky ship which finished off the skull grinder which was pretty funny because sky ships are just terrible in close combat but they ended up uh, being able to just about pile in and get some melee attacks in. Um, over on my right flank, I don't really do anything but huddle around the objective um, and really hope to win initiative on the next turn, or else this is going to go really bad. So, turn two, um, the score is nine for me, six for my opponent. Uh, because he did manage to score uh, on my objective on one of his turns. Um, actually, I think two of those turns, if I'm doing the math correctly. Um, I'm currently at three tithe points, and of course I lose initiative on turn three. Kind of see how this game is going for me. A lot of this is resting on the initiative rolls, and it just did not go well for me at all. Um, somewhere in here, I believe it was on sometime during turn two, I also used so much stuff died that I used the brass meteor, took out a bunch of his stuff, forgot that it was all immune to battle shock and he just kind of lost a few guys and that was about it. Um, so, uh, his turn, some of his, uh, Endron Riggers move up. His uh, skyship retreats from combat and runs, starts heading towards the objective marker in the center on my side of the board. Um, everybody but one dude on the right flank gets shot off the board. On the left flank, everybody gets shot off the board, and there's not really anything left going on over there. So, Lone Broski on the right flank is all I have left going on. Um, that really kind of ends my opponent's turn three. And, you know, I was left with one model left, so blood for the blood god. He charged in, uh, took some swings, did no damage, and then died. So, end result of the game. Uh, tabled by Karadran Overlords in three turns. Um, double turns on turn two for the Karadran Overlords were absolutely brutal. Them getting two shooting phases in a row that early in the game is ridiculous. Um, I'm going to have to do some sort of review on the Karadran Overlords at some point. 
Um, I've played against them a few times now, and they feel really super overpowered, especially against slower melee armies like this one. Um, I had fun. It was a great game. One of my favorite opponents to play with. Um, we had a good time. We just, you know, I got completely excited at every Blood Tithe point that I earned, regardless, you know, what side units were dying on, mostly mine. Um, so some lessons that I learned, I really need to protect that Blood Secretor. If I had not lost my Blood Secretor on turn one, then it would have been a very different game, I think. Um, I don't know if in the future I'm going to be using my Blood Secretor as my general, because, you know, frankly, I fired off exactly zero command abilities the entire game, which seems like it's an inefficient use of things. And what I had been thinking was, well, I'll probably be using my a lot of my Blood Tithe points in my opponent's turn, which leaves me to activate um command abilities with blood tithe points on my turn didn't work out that way um i'm gonna have to test around with this um and see what happens i think the skull grinder continues to be under costed he's only 80 points you give him mark of the destroyer and whatever other buffs i mean in this game he didn't need anything but mark of the destroyer and he was just like almost singing single-handedly taking down units of arcanaut company so yeah some things happened some things happened a lot of stuff died a lot of stuff was shot off the board uh moral of the story karadron overlords really super good at shooting really bad at getting hit in melee unfortunately my units were just not fast enough to get across the board and engage him in melee before they were all dead um so uh, that about wraps things up i mean it was a fun game it was a really good learning experience um kind of two new armies for both players we weren't really using super optimized lists so we weren't doing the most aggressive things possible um you know, in part just due to limitations based on what was painted, what was, uh, like, what models we actually own, uh, and the fact that we're both sort of experimenting around with different things at the moment. Um, for the Caradron Overlords, just a note that I would make is those Ether Chemists are, holy crap, really powerful. And... Um, I have a feeling in the GHB2 or in an FAQ, um, those guys are going to have to get nerfed because they are outrageously strong. Um, my opponent was spreading the buffs around and not stacking them. Um, like he could have just stacked all of those on mortars and basically blown me off the, the map even earlier than he did. Um, so in any case, that is about it. Much blood was spilled. The god, blood god was pleased. And so it was. Blood for the blood god. Skulls for the skull throne. See you guys next time.